We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care. Today on Victorious Living. I want you to understand something. You don't know the way through the wilderness. Hallelujah. You don't see the pitfalls along the way. You need the cloud, amen, to lead you day and night. Hallelujah. There are places, there are dry places, and you don't know what rock the water comes out of. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're going to get through the wilderness, you need the Lord to lead you. But he said, whoever, amen, choose, amen, to paddle their own canoe and to govern their own self and live the life that they want to. He said, I want to tell you. This is Victorious Living from the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church based in Jackson, Mississippi, comes this edition of Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Fortson. I want to read a passage of scripture coming from Matthew, the 11th chapter. This message this morning it's not necessarily for saints only or sinners only. It's for everybody. Amen. You find these words, the 11th chapter and verse 28. These are Jesus. He's speaking. It's a plea, it's a polite request. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for this message that you've given to the whole world. I thank you for your desires to help us. And Lord God, your plea that you're making unto us, help us to hear and to take heed thereto. For you see our struggles, you know our needs. And now, Lord, help us to hear your plea. In the name of Jesus, help your servant in deliverance. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Our subject today is consider the invitation. Consider the invitation. Amen. God is not pleased to leave us in this world. And he is not pleased when the world have us bound in his chain. He want us to be relieved. He want us to be free. Hallelujah. I want you to know that I don't care how good or bad or in between you may be. 
I want you to know that you are sincerely loved by God. Hallelujah. Please understand this, that God never will give up on you if he just can get you to hear. Hallelujah. If he just can get you to hear, then he will make sure that you get everything that has been promised. He knows that you can't do it on your own. He let us know that we're not able to make it without him. But with him, he let us know that a sure victory is waiting for us. Hallelujah. You know, one of the most difficult things there is, for it is for us getting in a position that we would hear God. There are so many distractions that keep us from hearing what God is saying. Hallelujah. And it is having just started. It has always been, and it always will be until this time is over. Brother Evan, it's a passage of scripture in that same chapter at verse 16, 11 and 16, I want to read. When Jesus looked at this generation, he looked at his generation, which was then as well as now. The generation of Jesus Christ is from the point that he came here, amen, uh, and to the point that actually he comes back here. Hallelujah. He looked at this generation, and when he looked at it, he saw the attitude that this generation had. And it calls him, amen, to somewhat condemn it. Hallelujah. I want to ask you all a question. Why is it so difficult for us to hear? Hallelujah. Why is it so hard for us just to jump in with Jesus? Why is it, hallelujah, amen, that as a people, amen, it's hard for us to be together and to become that one that God wants us to become? Hallelujah. Amen. He said, look, he said, what can I, how can I liken this generation? Hallelujah. How can I liken this generation? Read. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? All right. It is like unto children sitting in the markets. It is like unto children sitting in the marketplace. And calling unto their fellows. And he calling unto the fellows. It's kind of like, amen, the praise team up here, amen. They, they done got up and they done sung their hearts out, hallelujah. They done actually did their best. And, and, the, and, and the music pit done played and played and did everything they can do, hallelujah. And when they actually do their very best, they, uh, he called to his fellow, read. And saying, saying, we have piped unto you. We've we, 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 we done our best. We have sung to you. We, we're giving you the music. Amen. We're giving you the, the songs. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and really, amen, there ought to be liquid glory in the house. But you won't even dance and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, now that's the way, amen, I like him this generation. Hallelujah. In other words, hallelujah, whatever I bring, hallelujah, he said, look like they just automatically get on the other side of what I say and do. He looked at this generation, he was disappointed. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell y'all this. When he looked at his true followers, not just those in the world, but those in the church. He said, now and then, a follower. 
Hallelujah. He know he's not going to have the broad and the wide. Hallelujah. But amen. Because this is the narrow road that we're traveling. Amen. Not the broad way. And, but there are lots of people. Not talking about saints. Hallelujah. They're not going to be happy. Hallelujah. In the narrow and the straight way. They want to do their thing. I want to do what I want to do. I want you to know that you can never, amen, serve God doing what you want to do. If you're going to serve him, hallelujah, your life got to be pleasing in his sight according to the description that he's already given and his word in the book is not going to be written over again. Hallelujah. And let me tell you this. The devil is going to bring many inviting things in order to get you out of the path of righteousness. But you can't let it happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't ever, amen, get to the point, hallelujah, whereby you're going to depend on things you like to cause you to dance for Jesus. And I'm not talking about dancing, but I'm talking about living for him and serving him, hallelujah. You're not going to find exactly what you want, know where you go. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, you got to adjust yourself, amen, and decide that I'm going to serve God if nobody else do it. Hallelujah. Don't be tossed to and fro, but be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. Hallelujah. So he said, how can I liken this generation? As fellows, men's calling out to fellows and look, we'll play, we'll pipe music. And you we'll have not you, danced. We'll give you wedding songs and you haven't even danced. If you're not going to dance by God's word, what are you going to dance by? If the word of God is not going to move you, what going to move you? We don't have anything else but God's word. Hallelujah. And let me tell you all this. I don't want a watered down version. Hallelujah. I want mine straight. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me the word straight. Hallelujah. Come on, preachers, please. Stop being quiet when you should say something. Hallelujah. Stop making compensation for weakness. Stop holding back on the word because your family is involved. Some people can't preach things because they're guilty. You get right where you can preach right. Hallelujah. Amen. Wrong is wrong. I don't care if it's even including me. It's wrong. Hallelujah. Look, you all. We got to make this journey. I pipe music, but you didn't hear. Read. We have mourned unto you, and you have not lamented. So we decided to to mourn to you. We decided to cry. We, 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 we decided to give you some funeral songs. Near your my God to thee. And you won't even cry. Hallelujah. I, I, I sing wedding song and you won't dance and then I sing funeral song you won't cry. So you know what he said? He, we have moaned unto you, and you have not what? Lamented. Lamented. And then he said something else. For John came neither eating or drinking. He said, now John the Baptist didn't come eating or drinking. Matter of fact, hallelujah, he didn't even come uptown. He stayed out in the wilderness. And y'all had to come to him. He didn't come eating or drinking. And they say. And they said. He hath a devil. He has a devil. Read. The, the son of man. The came, son of man. Came eating and drinking. He ate with the Pharisee, the Sadducee. He ate and drank with them. Hallelujah. And you call him, amen, a gluttoner and a wine bibbler. Hallelujah. He said, look, how, in the, how, how can I please this generation? What can I do, hallelujah, in order to 
get you to where I want you. But he said this, though. Wisdom. But wisdom is, wisdom is justified of her children. It's justified of her children. In other words, he said, look, the proof of who I am will be in the results that comes about as of, as of, as of me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this, you all. Stop getting caught up in a lot of unnecessary conversation. Look at, look at results. I said, look at results. You don't have to justify yourself. Your results will justify you. You don't have to defend yourself. The work that you produce will defend you. Hallelujah. So Jesus said, I don't have to justify myself. I don't have to defend myself. The work that I do, it going to, amen, defend me. I want to say something else, you all. Let, let, me, let, me, let me move pretty rapidly. I want to go to the 10th chapter. And I want to look at verse 30, 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it. Now let me tell you this. Some of you, you're saying that I want my own life. You know what I'm trying to get you to do today? I'm trying to get you to let it go. Let your life go. Don't be clinging to you. Don't you be trying to, hallelujah, put yourself where you want to be. Because you're going to come up a loser. He said, he that finds his life, he that a man cling to his own life and keep his own life in the way that he wants to do it. Let me tell you this, you all. You got to let Jesus lead you. You got to let Jesus guide you. I want you to understand something. You don't know the way through the wilderness. Hallelujah. You don't see the pitfalls along the way. You need the cloud, amen, to lead you day and night. Hallelujah. There are places, there are dry places, and you don't know what rock the water comes out of. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're going to get through the wilderness, you need the Lord to lead you. But he said, whoever, amen, choose, amen, to paddle their own kaboo and to govern their own self and live the life that they want to. He said, I want to tell you on the front end, you're going to lose it. I'm telling somebody, hallelujah, as long as you, amen, be the leader of your life as opposed to God being the leader, you're going to lose it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You're going to lose it. The Lord is letting us know you can't make it on your own. Hallelujah. And so he wants us to take heed to the invitation. But he said something else. And he that loseth his life for my sake. But if you go ahead on and, and lose your life, give your life up for my sake. Shall find it. He said you will find it. He said you will really find life like you've never seen it before. Let me tell you this. I don't care where you are without Jesus. It's not a drop in the bucket as to where you can be with Jesus. Hallelujah. And many times, hallelujah, you think it's the world that calls you to be something. But I want you to know, hallelujah, there's a whole lot of people that are rich, amen, and it's nothing. But you can have nothing, hallelujah, and be something in Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. But the enemy don't want you to see that. He think he wants you to feel that you're going to have to be something in the world in order to be something. But I want you to know if you would just serve God, hallelujah, you'll be amazed. It says something else, read. He that receiveth you. Now he tell us, amen, as the peoples of God. He said, look, we can't, amen, just strive to be accepted by the world. Y'all understand this. Hallelujah. God don't want me, amen, to step out of bounds in order to be accepted by nobody. Hallelujah. 
Amen. But he want us to abide in his way and his will. He said, he that receiveth me. Receiveth you. Will receive you. Look, if you, hallelujah, is of God. Amen. If God have so ordained you and sent you and he is utilizing you, whatever message you got in tell, hallelujah, if I receive, hallelujah, what's been downloaded in you from God, then I am receiving God. Sometimes we can't look beyond the person. That's why we can't get our healing and our delivering. That's why we can't hear, hallelujah, because we can't look beyond, amen, the ugly man. And to see the beautiful God behind him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so he said, he that receive you. Receiveth me. Now he said something else about himself. And he that receiveth me. Just think about how many people rejected Jesus Christ. He came to his own, but his own received him not. But he said, whosoever received me. Receiveth him. You receive my daddy or my father that sent me. But the world could not receive him. Hallelujah. It's a shame. Hallelujah. If something don't look like you want it, you look like you want it to look, you don't want it. I want you to know, hallelujah, you don't receive God, amen, with your eyes, you receive him with your heart. Hallelujah. You don't measure, amen, by your mind whether you receive him or not. You measure by the word of God if you should receive it or not. Amen. We've been, amen, letting too many ways of God get by us because of the way that we are looking. Show me Jesus. That's all I want to see. Show me the ways of God. Show me the likeness of God. Show me the word of God. That's what I want. Hallelujah. That's what we got to see, you all. That's what God want to show us. We're going to get there, y'all. We've got to do a few things different. I told you from the onset that God loves you. He want to bring us closer to him. He said something else. Amen. Read. He that receiveth a prophet. He said, look, if you receive the prophet. In the name of a prophet. You receive the preacher in the name of the preacher. Shall receive a prophet's reward. Whatever the blessing that the preacher had when he came to you, you're going to get it. A lot of times you can't get the reward that the preacher got because you can't receive the preacher. Hallelujah. The word that sometimes you speak in that pulpit, some people can't see it. They can't receive it. Hallelujah. But if he's speaking as God lead him, amen, or he's speaking as the word of God direct him, amen, then whatever he's spoken, hallelujah, it's ours if we'll take a hold to it. If you can receive, amen, what the prophets say, amen, you'll get the reward the prophet got. When I talked to Eric, hallelujah, amen, he took me at my word. He is on his way. Have you been hungry since you've been here? Have you been without clothes since you've been here? Have you had, amen, place to stay since you've been here? Amen. Hallelujah. Have you, have you got uh, 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 brothers that, 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 that care for you since you've what am I trying to tell you? Hallelujah. If you can receive, you can have what he, what he said. Read. And he that receiveth a righteous man. Receive a righteous man. In the name of a righteous man. In the name of a righteous man. Shall receive a righteous man's whatever reward. Whatever that righteous man offer to you, you're going to get it. Now, don't y'all understand? Can't y'all see how, why we have missed so many things? Because we didn't receive it. Amen. I couldn't receive the song because it was Eric that was singing the song. Hallelujah. Now, if Jeremy was singing it, hallelujah, I might have could have embraced it a little better. Hallelujah. Lord, help us finish that out. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones. I, I want y'all to know this. I, I, I know this is elementary preaching. Hallelujah. But let me tell y'all this. It's the basic thing that the church is really missing. Hallelujah. All those heavy things, hallelujah, sometimes excite us, but it's those basic things that we need to do like we're talking today that will cause us to rise higher than we ever thought. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. So he said, now, 
in this uh, uh, verse, he said, look, there is not any little thing that you can do, amen, as a disciple, amen, of Jesus Christ, and in return, amen, it don't actually be a blessing back to you. I'm here to tell you, amen, that you can't be God-given. Whatever you do for the kingdom, for God, hallelujah, it's, it's more blessing coming back at you than you give out. He said in this passage of scripture, what? Read. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones All right. a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. He won't lose his reward. Let me move to a close. Talking about, consider, the invitation. Hallelujah. I want y'all to understand this. That every one of us is personal, unique with Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometime, hallelujah, we as parents talk to our children we as pastors talk to the congregation. And sometimes we as counselor, we talk to individual. And we don't have all the information. And sometimes we cannot come to real conclusion as to what needs to take place. But not so when it comes to God. And he have complete understanding and perfect understanding of each and every one of us. Hallelujah. He know from whence we come. And he know where we are going. He know what our hindrances are. He know about our faults. He knows about our failure. He know what got us tied up and tangled up. Hallelujah. He know our mindset. He know what we've been listening to. Hallelujah. But I want you to understand this, that he is not governed about any of those things. If you would only just humble yourself in him. Hallelujah. Put yourself under his mighty hand. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like a copy of today's message, need prayer, or have questions about receiving Christ in your life, Give us a call at 601-354-2599 or visit our website at gbtchurch.org. Victorious Living with Pastor Robert Fortson is brought to you by the Ministries of Greater Bethlehem Temple Church, Jackson, Mississippi. We all want the best for our babies. At Little Saints Academy, we're not your typical daycare. Our strong Abeka and High Scopes curriculum help our children learn to read at a fast and efficient rate. In fact, our four to five year olds will be readers and be prepared to pass the Mississippi Kindergarten Test. For applications and admission questions, please visit gbtchurch.org. Little Saints Academy, 1411 Robinson Street. It's daycare, not just play care.